these relics is a tank called the MBT-70. The prototype is all that remains of the ambitious co-venture with the Germans to build a tank superior to anything the Soviets could muster. The main battle tank, which is the product of international cooperation, is a German-made automatic transmission that incorporates both converter and lock-up gear ranges. The bureaucracy of two nations working together was uh, in itself a formidable task. The cost of the, of the program kept rising, and finally uh, Congress said, no, 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 <laughs> we don't want any more of this, stop it. With a price tag of $1.2 million apiece for the new tank, Congress decided to cancel the program. Although it never went into production, the MBT-70 was an impressive piece of machinery. Some of the uh, characteristics of the MBT-70 that were clearly superior, it was uh, able to move rapidly at speeds uh, in excess of 35 miles an hour. The um, MBT-70 was made so that it could rise up, uh, shoot, and pop back down again without uh, moving the tank at all, except for that, uh, that built-in ability to, to, uh, to elevate itself. But of course, this all costs money, and that's one of the reasons that it uh, went down the tubes. Despite the failure to deploy the MBT-70, the Army did not give up its search for a new battle tank. 